David's mighty men. All those who were in distress or in debt or discontented gathered around David and he became their leader. 1 Samuel chapter 22 verse 2 David's brigade of fugitives, mercenaries, and renegades must have enjoyed a fearsome reputation during Saul's reign, for the king could not capture them, and neighboring Philistine rulers tolerated them. They are usually described as intensely loyal to David. Actually, like most people, their loyalty depended on David's success. After the sacking of their city, Ziklag, they talked openly of mutiny in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6. But David's leadership prevailed. They certainly performed with valor and were known for their ferocity and their fearlessness. The elite units known as the 30 and the 3 were probably generals in charge of local militias. The final name on the list in 2 Samuel chapter 23 is of one who refused to betray his leader even while his leader betrayed him. These men were not mere military robots who did David's bidding. We could learn from the loyalty and camaraderie these men enjoyed, given our American penchant for individualism and our tendency to disappear from a church if things don't go our way. The mighty men stuck together. They followed good leadership and pulled their weight. They had no sluggards. We would do well to imitate this example. With God's help, consider how you might be like them today. Might is not in force of arms, but in fellowship with the Spirit of God and in boldness to obey the Lord. You can read more about the mighty men. They are mentioned in 1 Samuel chapter 22, 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 39, and 1 Chronicles chapters 11 and 12.